Oh, hello there. Uh, I was just yeah, I was just fixing the wiring here. Uh, so yeah. Um, so we this is this is a Q25 limits uh, jammed by rock. Uh, maps were designed around the original id limits, so it should have fit on the floppy disk, and there were some limitations on how how many polygons of the world should be shown on the screen at once. So there was a 600 uh, W poly limit, uh, and with these restrictions. Uh, uh, a bunch of us started making maps. Uh, I've uh, made a video of two of the uh, three base maps. Uh, technology based by Boxfigs, Logistics Central by me. And this, uh, this episode will be about an advisable urge by Koenig. And uh, without further ado, uh, let's just jump right into it and see where it goes. Oh, and you might have noticed some weird noises here. Yeah, that's, that's just my, you know, getting instant messages and stuff like that. Uh, I'll, I'll turn them off probably or something. But uh, trashy audio quality is something you should get used to with me. That's just how I roll, okay? Anyway. We're starting with a nice intro sequence here. Hello there. Okay. I just remember that I forgot to save before entering the map. Ow, this caught me off guard. How? That was silly of me. So what we see here is some nice uh, uh, gray sky contrasted by this rusty atmosphere here. <clears throat> we are given options, but most of them are fake, so this will need a key, and this is probably an exit to something. So we're just diving in here. Who leaves a good gun lying around like that? So we jump down here, and immediately we're facing two of these puppies. There's a slide bug there, a glitch. Door goes through the wall. It should have had a bit more, you know, wiggle space here, or a different shape. <clears throat> but all in all, Now, something about this dog, I really like this flashing light here. The thing about this dog is that this space is 64 units wide. The dog cannot run here. It just freezes in place. That's not good. Oh god, I know this place. It's a bloodbath. I'll just rush in and try to kill everybody. Okay, I failed. And... Oh yeah, I did save here, okay. I'll just kill each other, I don't care. Oh, 
Oh, I accidentally revealed the secret. Okay. That's fine. Oh, by the way, the soundtrack here is uh, mine because I didn't want to do anything with you know, copyrights and stuff like that. Hello, puppy. Don't jump on me like that. That's scary. But anyway, this this whole thing is you know it's just as well designed as as uh, the first map. No, it's it's better designed than the first map by Box Figs. Uh, this this is really good. And here we are. Boom, boom. They're on the roof, and, and this is a bit doom-like. So <laughs> I just wanted to turn back. Okay, I just wanted to turn back and appreciate how. How doomy this looks, like these typical corridors that just wind around and uh, stuff. Now where are we? We have this beautiful dome. I really love this. This is truly beautiful. We have these computers. Here was a key. Here we have a door. And if we go here, we will notice that... Oh. Oh, this is the stairwell. So this is, this is the place where we came from. It opened up this part, and what you hear right here... The dog doesn't really like this almost tight corridor. So yeah, we've got a laser turret here. A wall of lasers. Uh, my only issue with this is that it continuously shoots and... and and it should start it when, when we're here, or maybe there should be some inlet to you know, give it the feeling that it's, it's an actual thing that goes somewhere and we're not just shooting the wall for no reason. Okay, that's fine. Dogs can't really navigate these tight spaces, as I see. This is some well-placed ambush. So this is good. This is how you should do it. Uh, placing an enemy high up so it doesn't have to teleport and then it can rain down something ranged like a, you know, an ogre with grenades or, or an enforcer with lasers. Lasers are pretty, pack a pretty hefty punch if you take both of them. That sounds weird. Okay. That's fine. I guess. So, 
something there just got stuck and died. But, you know, spawns on a base. Okay, I survived. Yeah, this is pretty nasty with these things. Like, do I have any health here? I need some health, please. Come get some. No health whatsoever. Wait, wait, maybe here? I'm just running around a bit. Wait, what? Oh, this is... Ah, oh, I'm so stupid. Yeah, so... It's, it's an overall fun little map uh, with solid aesthetics and, and everything. Mm. Yeah, I can get that now. No, I can't. Crap. By the way, that walk and fire you pr pretty. You're kidding, right? Okay, so here we go. You always know there's going to be something here when, when you have two health packs. Inadvisable urge by Koenig. This is a pretty solid one. Never mind. Just just forget what I said. <laughs> no, this really is oh and that touch right there, that there's a fan behind it. Very nice. Very nice. So this is a great map, uh, I really enjoyed playing it uh, for the second time as well. Uh, yeah, because I've, I've played the first uh, ten map, no, the first nine and the tenth map in this pack already. So yeah, I, this is a great map, I, I really like it. <coughs> it's, it's a, it has a very different atmosphere to typical uh, it maps of the base flavor. It's it's darker. It's more. It's not as dark as mine was, but uh, it does have this uh, colder, cooler, more autumny, gloomy atmosphere. I don't even know wha what to compare to it. It's it's a very unique uh, feel. Maybe maybe the the snowy level from uh, from uh, Soldier of Fortune, the original. But anyway, this is a great map. Uh, thank you, Koenig, for making it. And uh, uh, as for my dear viewer, uh, see you next time. Bye.